What is happening, y'all? It's Peaches and Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm, and y'all, we've been debating on what we want to do with Miss Peaches here. Should we let her have this area all to herself? Should we put her in with the rest of the animals and let her have that area over there? Uh, we've just been kind of back and forth on the fence on this. Peaches, generally, she is not a social butterfly. She's just not. Her and Loretta didn't get along. Uh, we've, we, we actually had her friend at our old farm named Marshall. Her and Marshall didn't get along. She seems to do better by herself, so we thought it may be best to keep Peaches by herself. But then we started thinking, well, if she gets over there, she can go play in the woods, uh, roam around, have a lot more space. Maybe she'd be, um, I don't know, maybe she would enjoy it. I'm going to tell you, something over there kind of made the decision for me. And I think Peaches may enjoy it over there. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So the other day I was out here in the wooded area, just hanging out with my goat buddies. And I found something that kind of made me think, you know what? I believe Peaches will enjoy it over here. And that's this right here. This is a persimmon tree. This is a wild persim persimmon tree. This is just like what we had at our other farm that Peaches loved, loved, loved. And I'm telling y'all, when I saw this, I knew that that was a sign that I thought Peaches would enjoy it over here. And this is the one that I see. There may be several others in this area, I don't know. But um, this is a wild persimmon tree right here. If we get Miss Peaches over here now, I want you to be nice to her, okay? That's the boss lady. I don't need you getting fired, you know it? you the sweetest animal here, at least to us. <laughs> she, the goats sometimes don't think Jessie's the sweetest animal. <laughs> Jessie gets her way sometimes, don't you, girl? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. All right, girl, we got to try to figure out how we're going to get the farm boss over here today, okay? And keep things handled over here till we get back with the boss lady. Yeah. So since there is officially a persimmon tree over there, I think Peaches would love to go over there because as you guys know, she loved our persimmon tree, our wild persimmon tree over there at our old farm. And I think she's gonna like the wild persimmon tree here at the new farm. And that's the only one, I mean, that's the one I officially saw. There could be several more in there that I don't even know about. But regardless, I think it may be best to put Peaches over there. She'll have the shade of the wooded area that she can, you know, roam around in. She's got the persimmon tree. We're going to add another porter hut. That'll give her two porter huts if she wants. And she can go into one of the stalls if she wants to. So a lot going on here that I think will benefit her. There's only one big issue about this whole situation. And that's getting her over there. And we got to figure out how to do that. And she's probably not going to be happy about it. <laughs> oh, I know, baby girl. We're going to get you, though. See, I'm uh, getting Peaches over there. It's going to be a little bit difficult. We've been tossing it around. And the, to us, the best option is to do exactly what we did uh, with the other animals. And that is to get her in the trailer which is easier said than done. It really, really is. Um, this may not go as planned at all. She, um, I don't know y'all, I don't know. I know some of y'all gonna say get a ramp and all that. She's not going to voluntarily go in this horse trailer. If I had a ramp, if I had an escalator, if I had an elevator, she's not gonna wanna go in that horse trailer, period. I can tell you guys that right now. And, if you don't know this, uh, one of the one thing that a pig does and is a uh, defense mechanism for them is that if they get lifted off the ground even an inch, 
they squeal to high heavens and it sounds like the end of the world's coming as soon as you let them down i'm talking about a half inch they quit it just shuts off and you pick them up again it cuts back on that is a defense mechanism for them in case you know a, a predator or something tried to pick them up or whatever and then they'll squeal and it's really loud really 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 loud <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy day if we can get peaches moved to the new area we want to move gus and loretta over to this area right here and let them have this spot and they'll have their own porta hut and we'll move their pools and stuff over here and all should be well over here for those guys we think this would be a bigger spot for them they'll enjoy it more and it'll give us our full pasture back over here where gus and loretta are now uh the splitting it in half has was a temporary uh fix until we started moving animals around once the barn got built and the pasture started getting finished up so now it's time to move gus and loretta around which should be easy Gus and Loretta, moving them, they're easy. They are not as peculiar and picky as Peaches, the farm boss diva. They're, they're not at all. We could even get them in a trailer if we wanted to. It wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> but not Peaches. Not Peaches. <laughs> Hoo wee Peaches is, is used to things being her way or no way. Oh, 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 I also thought maybe, maybe we could get Miss Peaches to just walk over there, but y'all, that is not happening, I do not believe. She, um, I'm telling y'all, she, she beats her own drum now, and she does what Peaches wants to do. Hey, Peach. <laughs> oh, goodness. If I can get her close to the trailer and I can lift her up and get her in there real fast, then we're good. But again, that's easier said than done because she is going to wrestle just a little bit per se. And you guys know, honestly, I wish I could get her in a crate. But the problem with putting her in a crate is, is trying to pick the crate up and put it in the side-by-side -side or the truck or something like that and getting it over there. That's the problem with Kratner. I think getting this one pot belly pig over to the new pasture is gonna be more difficult than our nine goats, a donkey, and a cow. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go give it a try. <laughs> oh, I failed to mention that once we do get her over there is getting her inside the pen without letting our nine goats donkey or cow out we may get those guys to go up in a stall and see if we can get peaches in that way the um stalling them i guess that's the technical or the correct term for it or putting them up in the evenings uh, it's getting easier. We've done it three times now, and each time it gets a little bit easier. The um, all of them are going in except the only issue is is Bo Peep. She's the only one that's kind of giving us any issues whatsoever. But um, hopefully, hopefully she'll start to get it down. If she doesn't go in today, I think we'll be okay. As long as we can get peaches in there, I don't think Bo Peep's going to run out. There is one thing that we would like to do before we start moving the boss lady. That is, get the porta huts or get a porta hut moved over to the uh, the area where the goats are and the and Jesse and Mildred. Now we did move one porta hut already over there, but we want to move another one over there just to give peaches. Uh, an extra spot or anyone for that matter just because we got them and somebody may want to use them. Far away from home, 
All right, here we go with a porta hut. It's coming right there. And I got goats ready to pounce. <laughs> oh my goodness, here comes Mildred. I'm gonna try to get these guys to go up in the stall, even though it's not time for it. Maybe they will. Come on, goats. I don't care if Bo don't come in. You're good. All right, tell me about the picnic table. I will. All right, start turning. So the Florida hut went pretty smooth. I got the goats up except for a few. We decided to move the trailer with the tractor and not the truck. We have a little bit more control with it, with the tractor, because we can use the front bucket and we can tilt it. Gotta go down. I think that's good. All right, tell me when you think it's low enough. Okay. No, 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 come on, there you go. That's fine, that's fine. That okay? Yeah. Come on, this way. Two feet. No, wrong way, baby. Come this way. Come on. Got a girl, come on. I'm not gonna lie. 10 out of 10 on that. Huh? I give that a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That went good. All right, Pete, Pete, there you go, girl. Gotta for a Look at this place. I think you're gonna love it. Don't you think yeah. let everybody out now? Yeah. We don't have nothing else to come in here, do we? I hope not. I think we're good. All right, Aunt Jessie. Everybody out, come on. Y'all come on. Everybody out. It's okay, girl. We got you. Oh, she mad at me. <laughs> hope, I, hope I don't get fired. When she finds that persimmon tree down there, she's going to be happy I moved her over here. Yeah, you're going to be just fine. Yeah. 
She's mad at you. I'm the one she's mad at. Thank goodness we don't have to worry about the ducks getting in her water. Yes, we need to show her where her water yeah. is. Don't you think just set it right over here somewhere? Yeah. All right, I think I'll go get her water. Do you think we're gonna haul a red and Gus by that little piece by the trailer? Uh-uh, I think we just show them yeah. food. That's what I think, don't you think? Yeah, they're gonna come. I'm not worried about Loretta and Gus at all. What about Jesse? You worried about Jesse? I ain't worried about Jesse either. Oh, Jesse, you gonna knock me down, baby. I'm not worried about Jesse. Oh. And we got peaches moved. Mildred ain't come out the stall yet. <laughs> you can forget that. Mm. The gate's open, Mildred. Yeah, it is. I see it. Now she's gonna come out. All right. Yeah. Grand entrance. Grand entrance. All right, Peachy. All right, Peachy. We're gonna go move the honeymooners. We'll be back. Your buddies. Yeah. Not really. She said, "Don't put me in with them. We'll be all right." And now she's she's not mad at me no more. See here. Uh, yeah, she's not mad at me no more. All right, I got Peach's waters fixed up and she's ready. You can see she's now, she's settling in pretty good. You saw her rooting around. Uh, tomorrow she should be 100%. Probably by nightfall she'll be 100%. But got Peach's settled in. Now let's see if we can get the honeymooners moved next door to their much larger area. And I like how this is turning out, y'all. This is. This was our dream when we moved here, and I love it. Hey girl, we fixing about, we are about to move Gus and Loretta. What do you think? Think it's gonna go okay? Hmm? Think it's gonna go okay? You a herding dog, you reckon you can herd pigs? Hmm? <laughs> All right, let's go give it a whirl, girl. Yeah, let's go give it a whirl. All right, I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah. You got your running shoes on? Yes. All right, boys and girls. Come on, Loretta. You got to come this way, baby. Yeah. If we can get one at a time, that'd be even better. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Come on, girl. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. You can use it. Right, that went easy. Loretta, you're a good girl. She said I need my own pan though. She's gonna make a victory lap. <laughs> Loretta said, I've been here before, Gus. I've been here before, Gus, Bus. Look at her smacking. I see you, big girl. Yeah, what you think? I love it. All right, let's get the pools over here. What else did you say? Water hose. Water hose, okay. All right, let's get it going. Let's give let's be nice. I had a great feeling that one's gonna go smooth. The only thing I was worried about if they were to just go another way, they can run fairly fast. Peaches is not a runner. Peaches is, give me my float in the pool and, and my pina colada and let me float around here for a couple hours. That's Peaches' attitude. Gus and Loretta, they can move now. They can scoot, but they scooted right where we wanted them to. Gus, oh Gus said he's enjoying this new, this new area already. He believes he's gonna love this place. <laughs> Look at you, Gus. Oh my gracious. <laughs> oh, 
Lucas. All right, it's getting on in the evening. Around six o'clock is when I like to start trying to get the goats to go up. Before we go put everybody up and check on the boss lady, y'all look in the very back of the pastures back there, all the way in the back. There are the honeymooners, lovely Loretta on this side and the Gus bus on that side. They are enjoying their new place. I can tell y'all that. Stretching them legs out this evening. All right, let's go check on the other crew. Hey, hey, what do you think about all the musical chairs happening these last few days? You'll be, you'll be soon. Well, I say that. Wait, well, I would talk to you, but I can't because your entourage is way too loud. But I'll get back with you later. And the boys are in their back pasture back there. Moody, Joe, and Mo. All right, now let's go check on the rest of the company. Beautiful sunset this evening. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna go put the goats up and get everybody fed, which Peaches is already eating, so we're not gonna feed her again. And what we may do, and I think this is probably gonna work, is we'll continue to feed Peaches in the mornings. So when I let the goats out, train peaches to go up in the stall in the morning because everybody will be out and get peaches fed in the morning times that would be lovely if we can make that happen but let's see how it goes this evening and let's see how well peaches is starting to adjust to everything I can see the goats are waiting on me you see them they are waiting on me, which is good. Really is good. They're starting to realize evening time is uh, supper time and they're going to get fed. I see Jesse and uh, Fifi over there. I don't see Peaches. Let's see if we can find where Peaches is located. Peaches. Peaches is in Jesse's stall, y'all. <laughs> Peaches done found the stall. That's funny. Y'all look. Quite comfy over here, ain't it, girl? It sure is. <laughs> oh, my gracious. That is funny right there. Now, I've never seen Jesse and Peaches have any static with each other. So I think it's gonna be okay when I get Jesse put in there. We'll watch and see though. You stay here, Holly. You stay here, baby. All right, Aunt Jesse, I got you right here. And let's go get the goat bucket. Mildred. Come on, Mildred. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, y'all, that went pretty smooth and getting better at it. Everybody's starting to learn. Bo Peep went in there this time. Top went in there. It's a good day, good day. And Peaches is in the stall, snoring. <laughs> How about you, Jesse, you about finished? Hmm? You about finished, baby? Oh yeah, you done. You had nothing left. Nope. So what do you think so far? Pretty good, isn't it? I knew you was gonna like it. I knew she was gonna like it, y'all. And this isn't even, this is just 
half a day in here. Just wait till you got several days to check things out, right? And I got one question for you. You're not mad at me no, no more though, right? Okay, good, good. And won't you be mad at me? Well, you sleep tight tonight in your new digs, okay? All right, and y'all, y'all be good. <laughs>